Okay. Last time I'm doing this. It's been hours. So let's go over the problems. The D-Link hub in itself is causing noise on certain USB audio devices, and it's also bottlenecking. Both Akasos, regardless of whether or not they claim that their 4K Ultra HD cannot be pushed past 720p, even plugging straight directly into my PC at USB 3.0 speeds, the Akasos, even with their buffering turned off and optimal frame rate, they just do not push sev uh, above 720p. Now, I have both Akasos and the USB sound card currently plugged into the D-Link USB hub. However, whenever I plug in my USB microscope, the microscope, which is capable of 1280 by 720 which is the native of the Akaso, and my current video landscape in itself, I wish I could get it bigger, but we're not going 1080p. Sorry. We'll have to deal with this some other way. Now, I've got both Akasos working, so let me uh, just jump over to the other side of the bench and you can get a better idea of uh, now that I've got the USB sound card in the middle of the desk I have more wire on my headset now I would really like to push this up to 1080p but I'm thinking maybe I could do some backdrops maybe tie in the oscilloscope discord chat uh, maybe a few other perks I'm I'm not sure at the moment I still got to figure out a few things with discord but for a fact the Akaso cameras are not capable of doing anything above 1080p. Sorry, 1080. I don't know why people keep calling it P. There, there shouldn't be progressive scan anymore. When was the last time you saw a fucking CRT? I'm sorry. I've, I've been doing this. Well, you know what? Let's go to the other camera. Because I got my Raspberry Pi Zero over here. We're going to take it to the microscope and give that little fucker a test, okay? Alright, let's get back over to... Okay, so... Normally, I'd be sitting here doing uh, either ham radio, thin client, or, uh, you know, like I said, firmware stuff on the left side of the desk. Um, on the left side of the desk is where I do all my soldering and my hardware work. Oh, hey, here's a little Bluetooth activity tracker for $10. Nice OLED display, a couple of MEM sensors and pogo pins. And uh, I think we might be able to rewrite some firmwares for that. I mean, I don't trust that thing, but you know, due to the app's permissions, but, you know, regardless. But, you know, that's that's my point. The left side of the desk, this is where we start taking stuff apart, like my this little Bluetooth speaker, my 2.4 gig, a couple 2.4 gig modules. You can see I got some projects going on, and then it comes, once everything starts coming together, we're going to slide back over towards the, uh, the middle of the desk. And I got my Raspberry Pi Zero. Now, I set up OBS with the uh, USB microscope. And um, if I haven't said it already, that was sunrise when I started this shit, okay? It is currently sunset. I've been at it all day, if you can't hear it in my voice or see it in my eyes right now. So I've got my Raspberry Pi Zero wireless, and I have my USB microscope. And as long as the microscope is not hooked up to the hub, as long as it's hooked directly up to the PC, it should be able to push... 1280 by 720 which is the native of the Akaso. So let's switch over, but I'm also going to do a little picture-in-picture picture because I'm funny like that. So, here you see the USB microscope feed. Um, yeah, it's a little laggy. I, sh I probably shouldn't be pushing. Honestly, 1280 by 720 isn't its native resolution. But for what we're doing here, you, you can see everything that we need to see. I mean, there's, there's not that much lag to it. In fact, I noticed something with this board. I mean, I got these for $5 at Micro Center. And uh, as I was inspecting the boards, I think I can understand why. Um, nothing major league, but which edge was it? One of these edges was just really gnarly. Like, they didn't cut it with a very sharp guillotine. No, I think I might have actually just taken them off already, or I'm using the other Raspberry Pi Zero. 
but as you can see this USB microscope is doing a fairly good job at picking up the intricacies of the multi-layer and we do have brightness control so we can go and turn off light or bring it up Notice as, soon, how, notice how as soon as we bring up some of that light, we immediately lose that part number. Hell, I even have to put some of it in shade from my own lighting. I mean, that's not a bad thing. It's just the way part numbers work, the way they uh, ink them on. Where's that Raspberry Pi logo? Let's see if we can get that in frame. Oh, hey, what's that red dot for? I've never... That's interesting. I've never seen that there before. Huh. Wonder why they did that. Well, here's our camera connector. I got to get a couple of cameras for these guys. I got some pretty uh interesting project ideas. But as you can see this this little uh USB microscope's not doing a half bad job. At, uh, at checking out what's going on with this Raspberry Pi Zero. And I'm basically using OPS in itself in um, studio mode to basically jump around through these transitions. But my end game is to basically just have all of this set up and hopefully I can just bind all of that to my Shuttle Pro controller. Like even um, uh, just, just doing the transitions back and forth with this guy uh, in the middle of the desk would be really easy. Maybe, you know, maybe I can throw together a microcontroller project, but at this point I'm so exhausted, I'm just yammering. So uh, we've made some progress. We've got the dual Acaso set up. We've got the microphone set up. We've got USB audio set up. I can move my cameras around. We can get, um... wow, I'm tired. I'm really tired. Yeah, I'm calling it quits for the night. Uh, tomorrow we'll work on getting the um, USB capture box for analog composite and S video working. And um, I'll see if I can get this area cleaned up a bit so we can start getting some thin client hackery going on. I figured starting out with the thin client hackery is you know, most of our resolution when we're in DOS mode or in console is going to be 640 by 480. So, I mean, dealing with 720p, I mean, you're going to notice that we've got a lot of free space. Now, when I do jack this up to uh, 1080p, there's obviously some borders that I can fill that I mentioned before. So, um, I'm trying to work out a way that I can integrate the Discord live chat or something. Now, Discord does have an OBS integration, but it only leaves me at like... 520 by 220 pixels it's it's very small on the screen if i can elongate it somehow in order to take up like you know the left or right border so we have a real-time chat of what's going on that'd be pretty cool but we still have what would be considered almost the entire lower thirds i could probably put something down there but um hey hey we're making progress so cheers beers and bunny ears